Hello, I'm Dr. Sonam Tiwari. I am a consultant obstetrician at uh, Fortis Hospital, Vashi, and today we'll be talking about pelvic inflammatory disease, which is an infection of the female reproductive organ, which means it can infect the ovaries, the fallopian tube, cervix, and the uterus. This kind of infection is seen in almost 5% of the women. There are different bacteria that can cause this infection, and most of them are bacteria causing STIs, that is sexually transmitted infections. So what happens is, it, le it is the vagina that is infected in the first and as time passes, this infection ascends upwards in the pelvic organ. So who are the women who are at risk of having these kind of infections? These women might have previous history of STIs or they have early exposure to sexual activity, multiple sexual partners or unprotected sex or even women who have, have been having white vaginal discharge which have been untreated. Some women might not have symptoms at all, but there are some women who might present with lower abdominal pain or painful urination or frequent passing of urine or painful sexual intercourse or white vaginal discharge with some unpleasant odor. These are the very common uh, kind of symptoms which are presented by the women. So how do uh, your doctor treat this? It is usually treated with antibiotics, but if the PID, that is pelvic inflammatory disease, becomes severe, surgical intervention might be needed. So what are the uh, things that are needed for diagnosis? Your doctor might ask you for a pelvic examination or cervical swabs will be taken, pelvic ultrasound might be uh, suggested. Do all these investigations because if at all this in, an infection becomes serious or it grows, it might lead to chronic pelvic pain or ectopic uh, pregnancies in future. Also, if you are sexually active, do not forget to treat your partner. Thank you.